it's that time of year again where I'm going to have to speak about this. So this is a sensitive subject matter, so trigger warning in advance. Last year I talked about MMIW, so this year I will do a refresher for everyone and then do something extra at the very end. So what is MMIW or MMIW G2S or MMIP? MMIW stands for Missing Murdered Indigenous Woman or MMIW G2S stands for Missing Murdered Indigenous Woman Girls Too Spirited. This is an awareness to bring forth the current genocide to the indigenous people of Turtle Island, which is also called the USA, Canada, and as well as Mexico. But why should I bring this up? Why is this so important? I'll tell you a little story to make you guys understand. I was on Facebook because a friend was concerned about their missing elder. Now I went to go talk to the CRMP to see if they can do something about it. It seems that the community has already spoke to them and they'll say they'll get back to them. To my knowledge, my friend had told me it took a long time for them to even respond or even start looking for the individual, which is the elder of their community. So I was very upset and I go talk to the CRMP. Two days before they found him unalived. They lied to me and told me straightforward that they were already doing something, but the community said they have not even set forth or sent a search team to go find their elder. So it seemed that the CRMP has lacked the negligence to take care of the indigenous people of Turtle Island, the police force in Canada specifically. Like I stated last year, as we talked about Gabby Petito and Chelsea Portman. How one individual was giving all the resources, while the indigenous woman got little resource or little help to find her. While her parent was out there looking for her, they ended up finding her body and it was tampered with and they found it not suspicious. Those are some of the stories that people will tell you that exactly happens to these indigenous people is specifically being told by you by indigenous people. Still don't believe me? Let's look at the statistics. This is the most current, accurate statistics that we have from 2022. Pause to read. Indigenous women can experience two times the five likely of violence with a non-indigenous person. They can two times more likely experience ARD or SA crimes. And there are a lot of report incidents, but to remind you, not everything gets reported. More than four out of five indigenous women experience violence in their lifetime. On top of number three is the leading cause of death among 10 to 24 year olds for homicide. At number five is the leading cause among 25 to 34 year olds that are unalived by homicide. Also, if you could look at the 5,293 incidents that were reported, again reminding you not everything gets reported, there are still cases open since 2020 that have not been resolved. And alone in the U.S., there are about 10 MMIW cases that are very high in the U.S. Now, I will show you a very important video. Enjoy. Three out of four Native women will be physically assaulted advocates believe that crimes against Native women are underreported and underestimated. 88% of the crimes committed against Indigenous women are interracial. One in three Native American women will be raped in their lifetime. The second leading cause of death for Indigenous girls ages one to four is murder. Rarely do we find laws and policies that protect trans community. Violence accounts for 75% of deaths in Indigenous youth ages 12 to 20. We pray for and honor these relatives. Ashlyn Mike from the Diné tribe. She was nine years old and she was murdered. Carol Swan from the Shichongu Lakota Oyate, the Rosebud Sioux Reservation in South Dakota. She is my auntie. She was murdered. Phoebe Ortegon and her baby boy. She was killed by medical neglect. She's Eastern Shoshone and Northern Arapaho. She is my sister. Stacy Helm, 17 years old, from the Red Lake Band of Ojibwe Indians, located in Northern Minnesota. She was murdered. 
Fred Martinez, Navajo, 16 years old, transgender, murdered. Jancenta Eagle Deer, Brule Lakota, killed in a hit and run in 1975. In 2019, the Senate officially designated May 5th as the National Day of Awareness for MMIW. It honors the birthday of Hannah Harris, a Northern Cheyenne woman who went missing in Montana and was determined to have been raped and murdered. I joined a Discord server to learn about indigenous people, and within that time, we were also shared missing and murdered indigenous people. Here's the picture right now. These are just some of the minis that have been reported, and it continues till this day, and we need to bring awareness to this, to ensure the safety of the indigenous people of Turtle Island. And let's hope that we can bring these lost brothers and sisters home safely, back to their families. An honorable mention, thank you Blue Turtle and Krista Fox for continuing the work for the indigenous people. When this video is posted, this will be the new video that will be pinned on my TikTok, as well posted on my YouTube. They are lost, but never forgotten. Thank you for your time, it is much appreciated. You guys have a nice night. Oh,